Well, I, here's something that I think is crazy. When you see dogs, like if you are walking your dog and I'm walking my dog and we pass each other, those dogs are going to fight. Or they're going to bark or something. Or you're going to meet them. Well, they might be friendly. They right, could, sure. They but, could uh, but sometimes each other you see well. that, like, there's a kind of a confrontation. But then you put five dogs all together on one person, and all the dogs are docile and together. I, what's the psychology? I think it always depends on the person. And, and Mike is a fantastic dog trainer and a dog parent. He knows what to do. He knows how to keep them calm and about having that, that energy. He really does. Yeah. He has wrangled these five dogs. And believe me, sure they were a little feisty. I don't know if you saw. Feisty. Well, dogs will be dogs. Dogs that's will be dogs. Feisty. Feistiness. <laughs> I, yes, that's what was happening earlier here, thank goodness, during the commercial break. But these dogs are, look at how placid and lovely they are now. I like this cute little one's face. Isn't the Shih Tzu the, the cutest? The one that, is that the Shih Tzu? Yeah. Um, that's not my favorite kind of dog. Oh, what's your favorite? Uh, I like the Rottweiler. Oh, you like Rottweiler? Yeah. I do. And I like this little... Uh, what's this what's little this guy, guy right here? Yeah, That's see, a little puggle. Now, this is dubious. Puggle, right? so you go into, like, if you go into adopt, like an adoption place, right, and you want to rescue a dog, and the, the one that's, like, all cute and laying there kind of docile and pouty, you think, that's the one I want to bring home because I don't want it crazy around the house. Right. It's probably because he's exhausted, right? Because he's been running around like crazy. <laughs> and then you get him home it's the energy one, right? <laughs> he had a lot of prep for, you know, Fox and Friends. And right. I got him tired. But absolutely, you know, you never know, but you want to spend time with the dog. And usually you treat them well, they'll treat you well. We're clearly treating you like a dog expert now, suddenly. <laughs> like you're a vet and a dog expert. But it's really your business which is a dog daycare business, it's, or a it's, dog night care It's a dog business. services business. So we'll do dog walking, training, daycare. But the core is when you travel, you can drop your dog off at someone else's home so they get the loving home experience instead of being in a kennel. Or really the other thing that people do is they burden a friend or a family member, and I've done this with, with my dogs. You know, you're calling in favors, you're buying people dinner, you feel, right. you feel guilty. This is a way around all of that. And because it's much more affordable, it's a better option, too. And it's Dog Vacay that we're talking about. Yeah. So check it out online, dogvacay.com. What's your favorite breed of dog? I am breed agnostic. I love and welcome all breeds. <laughs> they can hear you loud. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to politics. What kind of dog do you have? Then? I have a uh, golden retriever mix, and I have a little white fluffy mutt of a thing. That's great. I like the little what we call out. They're hanging out in the shade. It is hot out here. We should wrap up our after the show show. I know. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, and uh, Rick's going to be watching the uh, Grand Canyon walk today. Uh, with Nick if Wallen. you want to call it the Grand Canyon. He's been he's been chapped about this all day. It's like the tiniest little part of the Grand Canyon. You're right. Road. Rick's done it a million times. Exactly. Walked over on a tightrope. All right. We'll see you guys. Okay. See you next weekend. Ciao.